Hi everyone, my name is Kenzie Dodds and I'm so excited to be your instructor here on epicreact.dev where I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to build epic React applications. And I am so excited to take you on this tour because I want to show you kind of the scope of this thing because you've never seen anything like this. You, you might be categorizing this as like, oh, this is an online course or something. No, 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 no. This is very different from anything else that you've seen. You're going to be blown away. So I want to take you on this tour so you get an idea of what's available here. So let's dive in. Once you've logged into Epic React Dev, you'll go to the slash learn page and we have articles, live streams and podcasts right up here at the top. And actually each one of these is available right now for everybody. So these are public um, pieces of content that people can enjoy and kind of you can test this out if you want to. So these articles are really great and I suggest that you give them a solid read. The live streams are all recorded and so you can go through and watch what I uh, was live streaming about when, um, <laughs> when I live streamed. And then we also have this podcast which is uh, nine episodes of me answering questions about how I learned React and uh, stuff about open source and, and career management, all that stuff. It's really, really quite good. And I think that you'll really enjoy that. So uh, take advantage of those things, absolutely. But once you're a license holder, you'll also get access to the workshops. And I'll just do a quick scroll through here of the amount of stuff and then we can talk about this here in a second. And uh, yeah, this just keeps on going. Yep, there we go. And oh my, what is that? Oh snap, look at all that stuff. Let's dive in here just a little bit. So once you start out, we're gonna give you a welcome to Epic React. This is such an enormous thing that you're trying to do, trying to really become an Epic React developer, that we wanna give you the lay of the land and a good idea of how to be successful in going through all of these workshops. Most of the workshops are set up pretty much identical to one another, and so we take you through a couple of quick videos to explain how to get things set up. And I'll just give you a quick preview of what that looks like. So when you're developing locally, this is where you're actually doing exercises. You're going to have an app, a local app that you're running, and there's going to be some explanation of the background, the kind of explaining the problem that we're trying to solve, and then some specific stuff uh, around the exercise that you're gonna be working on. And then there's also extra credits for these exercises too, if you wanna take it a step further. And uh, then on the right here, we have the exercise, uh, version. So this is the code that you're going to be working on. Here's the final version. So this is the code that is actually going to be run for the final. That's what you're supposed to be trying to accomplish in this exercise. And then we also have extra credits to kind of change the way that things are implemented in, in some way, just to take things a step further. And then each one of these has an isolated page. So if you're like not digging this hole, I have an entire app and I'm just working on this part of the app, uh, then you can open up in the isolated page so you can see what uh, things look like completely 100% by itself. So DevTools will be a lot nicer that way. And so you'll spend a lot of time, like this is almost 30 hours of video content of me in instructing you in the ways of React, but most of your time will be spent in here, in your editor and in the app. Uh, and so you're gonna be, this is just so much stuff uh, that you're going to be learning about. And so here we've got the um, emoji in here. That's Cody Koala Bear. I've got Cody right here. Hi, everyone. And, uh, and we've got a couple other emoji that are helpful to kind of guide you as you go through each one of these exercises. Uh, we have test. This is Alfred, the alert. Say hi, Alfred. Hi. And Alfred is going to kind of help you, guide you through the tests as well to help you avoid some of the common pitfalls that people come up against when they're going through this material, which I have given to thousands thousands of developers. So this material is really, really solid. And so that's the idea is you spend so much of your time in your editor actually working through these problems, having the right kinds of struggles so that you can actually remember and retain this stuff. There's a lot more to this, but I don't have time in the tour to take you through that. That's This is basically the idea though, is you spend a lot of time working through workshop material. We have the final version right side by side so that you can reference it if you absolutely really need to, but you should be able to uh, get through all of this stuff just through the exercises themselves. So that's basically what Epic React is for the most part. Uh, and then in addition to all of that really awesome workshop material, 
you also have the videos where I go through the solution. So I, I hand it off to you, you work through it, and then you watch me go through the solution. You can compare and contrast and see, oh, okay, now like everything is starting to click through. This is all based on science, where uh, the science of learning and retention, which is really important to me. So I think that you're really going to enjoy this. And based off of the people that I've taught this to in workshops and the people who have gone through Epic React already, this is very effective. So I think you're going to enjoy that a lot. So let's talk about specifics of what we go through. So we have React Fundamentals. We go through the yeah fundamentals of React. Here's the styling that we were looking at here just a second ago. And you may look at this and be like, wow, that's not a whole lot of videos. No, no, no. Each one of these is a single exercise. And then an exercise breaks out into multiple videos. Some of these extra credits go on and, and even some of the solutions go on for many videos. We have one that's 24 videos just for a single exercise. So yes, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff in here that uh, I think you'll really enjoy. So we've got all the, the basics that you need for building a, a React uh, application just from the very fundamentals. And then we have the basics of React hooks so you can actually start making things interactive. And we keep those separate so that you can really solidify your understanding of what's JSX and what's React's responsibility versus what's the tooling's responsibility. And in fact, for the first couple of lessons, we don't even get into tooling. We're just in index HTML files so that you can draw the lines around the abstraction so you understand better what those abstractions do. Uh, I, would, I would venture to guess it doesn't matter how long you've been using React, you will learn something in the fundamentals. So I don't recommend that you skip that. Uh, I have people who have been using React longer than I have, which is a long time, uh, who have learned stuff from my beginners, my fundamentals uh, stuff. So yeah, then we get into hooks, the basic hooks, and now you can make your applications uh, interactive, which is you know, kind of what we want to do when we're making applications. That's the difference between a website and an app. Is an app you can make interactive. And so we do that. And once you hit that second workshop, then you can actually start building real applications, have real users, and then you can take it to the next level with advanced React hooks to solve some uh, different abstraction problems and, and more complex state management issues. And we get into every uh, advanced React hook that there is. So you'll really enjoy this. Uh, you'll even learn about this use imperative handle hook, which I it, I kind of teach it as like, this is um, why, uh, for the same reason that I teach my kids about guns, I don't want them to use it. They're like six, <laughs> but I, I want them to understand what it is so that they know when it is appropriate and when it's not appropriate to use it. Like, wait till you're older, kid. <laughs> but uh, you'll learn all about use imperative handle and use debug value, these different hooks that you don't typically use a lot, but you'll see why they exist and when they can be useful. Uh, so you I think you'll really enjoy that, especially for those of you who are coming into this, you're like, is this just for beginner stuff? No, 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 no. We, we, this is the third workshop. We've got a bunch of workshops here. There's a lot more here. So we've got advanced React patterns, and this is where we're going to show you how to build legit abstractions, both hooks as well as components that give you really nice APIs so that they can uh, change with you as your use cases change, because that's all that we can really rely on in software is that things are going to change. So we've got context module functions, this thing I learned from Dan Abramoff uh, on uh, what stuff they do at Facebook, uh, compound components, fantastic pattern, really awesome. And with each one of these, I show you a real world library that implements or, or either maybe real world code, including this one, uh, real world code where uh, it's implementing this pattern so you can get an idea of what these things do. So lots of cool things, a huge fan of the state reducer. Um, that's my personal favorite. And then we have React Performance, which, uh, you know, React is really fast, but they do give you these tools for optimizations for a reason. And that is sometimes you're doing stuff that is just really difficult and React can't optimize it for you. And so you need to know which of those tools to use. So there's another set of tools, the browser dev tools, where uh, that will help you identify which of the tools uh, React provides you uh, so that you can um, actually optimize things in a way that actually makes it faster. Because sometimes you can reach for the wrong tool and you'll make things slower. And so that's what the React Performance Workshop is all about, teaching you the tools to identify which tools to use to optimize things. So really cool stuff in here. Um, yeah, like all the different hooks, we've got uh, some libraries that we're going to, to reach for for special use cases. 
um, things like that. I think you're really going to enjoy that one. And then testing, Epic React wouldn't be Epic without testing. And so we've got a bunch of awesome testing stuff in here, uh, teaching you just the fundamentals of what testing React actually means, and then bringing in React Testing Library. I'm the author of React Testing Library, and so I have a couple of opinions on how you can use it most effectively. And I show you all of those in here, not just like do this, do that, do this, like an exploration of the API, but an actual like, let's talk about how to write effective tests. So I think you're really going to like this, especially the mocking HTTP requests, which in the past has just been a nightmare, not very fun. Now it is just phenomenal. It's really good. I think you're, you're going to enjoy that a lot, uh, as well as the testing custom hooks if you're one of those library authors that you're trying to get confidence in the custom hooks that you're shipping. And then if you're into like the what's coming up next and I want to be future ready and all of that, React Suspense Workshop is for you. We talk about async management with suspense. It gives us a declarative API for asynchrony. I think it's awesome. Uh, things are absolutely changing. Uh, as I speak, things are changing with uh, with React Suspense, but getting an idea of how things are supposed to work in the future will um, help you when it does come, that you'll be able to be maybe one of the ones who creates the abstraction that is built on top of React Suspense so people don't have to use these low-level primitive APIs. So that might be kind of cool. Uh, and then there's things in here that actually apply regardless of whether you're using Suspense or not. So things like render as you fetch is more of a principle than it is an API. And so, um, yeah, I think you'll, you'll enjoy that a lot. Uh, and then we get to the mothership of this whole thing, and that is build an Epic React app. So as a workshop instructor, I've struggled for years on how do I make sure that I my exercises uh, straddle the balance of uh, being not too contrived, so like more real world so we can actually apply it, but contrived enough so that there's not so much domain knowledge around it that we're spending all the time learning about the exercise and not enough time learning about the thing we're trying to learn. And so um, that's why I have those isolated uh, exercises that are as real world as I can make them while still making them focused on the exercise itself. And then we have build an Epic React app, which is actually four workshops in, in one, where we actually build a full React app. So this is a silly amount of content. So we just, you can scroll forever on this thing, but then um, each one of these, remember, is more than just one video. So this one, for example, is 24 videos long. So like, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> I think that it's gonna blow your mind the amount of things that you can do. Um, with this stuff. So I'm excited for you to try it out and, and just get some experience uh, in, in building an app, uh, an actual web application with React. And so that's what build an Epic React app is all about. And then we have some expert interviews. What? These are some amazing, awesome people, some that you may know, some that you may not, but they're all fantastic developers and have really interesting things to say in the React world. So. Um, these ones aren't like workshops. You're not going to be at your keyboard or anything. This is more of a, a interview uh, or a conversation between two React experts. But I think that you'll really enjoy these conversations and they'll help you level up just as much. And then if this wasn't enough, which it, like, of course, it's not that we want all the things, right? There's actually even more. And that is we have the um, join the KCD Discord. And this will actually let you into our uh, special Discord community, the KCD Discord community, where you can, if you ever get stuck or anything, uh, then we've got a set of channels all about Epic React and people in there who are just super awesome and super friendly and can help you get unstuck anytime you're just totally stuck. And then on top of that, I recommend that you check out the KCD Learning Clubs, which you'll, you can learn about by going to kcd.im slash clubs. And here you can actually put together a group of people to go through Epic React all together. So you can go through it not alone, but with everybody else and um, or with, with your group, and then you can learn it way better. You have a support system built in. And this is facilitated by the KCD Discord. So definitely don't miss out on that opportunity. So so much stuff on here. I can't like, I'm so excited for you to go through this. And uh, I'm excited to see the amazing things that you build with the React skills that you develop from epicreact.dev. 
a lot of people ask me, okay, so like how long would it take me to just run through this thing? you know, sprint speed. And I would say, well, I mean, it's technically around 30 hours of video content just for the workshops. And then you've got additional stuff on the podcast, the articles and, and the live streams and the expert interviews. So it's, I don't know, is that 50 hours? It, it's a lot of stuff. Um, I would not recommend just plowing through that. You will not remember it. Um, it so I would suggest that you go through very methodically and um, work through the, the workshops. And if you do it the right way, then this could actually take two months to six months or maybe even more. So there's just so much stuff in here. It's going to give you an enormous amount of value. It is going to take an enormous amount of work, but it is going to just return on that investment big time. So I'm excited for you to give Epic React Dev a try. It is just so great to have you here and i'm really excited to, uh, for you to share with me the cool things that you build from the things that you learn so i'll see you around on the internet have fun with epic react.dev